Good morning, everybody. This is Todd with our daily nitty gritty insiders video. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Hope you had a great week. Hard to believe uh, we're already at the end of November here. And uh, tomorrow we start the last month of the year. And we run into the holiday season, which uh, is fun and great for everybody. We uh, just need to make sure that we recognize the fact that um, there are some potentially uh, potential issues that we need to deal with when it uh, comes to the fact that the markets will close at the end of, the, of December. Um, so we just need to be uh, aware of that. Use smaller position sizes, all of those types of things that we've talked about in, uh, in the past. And we can uh, certainly um, continue to trade just with the smaller position sizes. Um, the, uh, the market the last couple of days have been pretty, pretty strong. Um, if we look at the, the financial markets in the U.S., they've been strong. Gold kind of uh, rebounded back up. It had dropped. On uh, I believe it was Wednesday, and then it uh, ran back up. Gold's moving up to the upper 80s again. Um, so we're seeing a little bit of movement there. Um, as far as news goes, we need to obviously be aware of what news is happening. Uh, that news sometimes uh, will affect the markets, and sometimes they won't. The major news announcements will will do that. Um, today, we really uh, in the U.S. have personal spending, personal income, which were both down. Uh, Chicago PMI, uh, that's happening. Um, next week, just as a, a kind of an early reminder, um, on uh, Friday, we have our non-farm employment changes. And so that's something that comes out the first week of the month. So we have that. Let me just quickly see if we have anything else we need to prepare for. Uh, interest rate statements for the uh, Canadian dollar and also uh, the ECO FIN meetings in Europe, uh, which is going to be on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, New Zealand has its cash rates, Australia unemployment. So a little bit bigger week next week uh, as far as news coming out. Um, Euro has its minimum bid rate. The pound has its minimum bid rate on Thursday. So a lot of interest rate decisions that are coming out. So we could see some volatility that can affect not only the currency markets, but also the stock markets and those types of things. Um, now, remember, when we are looking at trading um, a specific method, like the simple trading method, um, we want to make sure that we understand the fact that we need to trade it consistently. We can't just pick and choose, you know, as as far as the uh, setup conditions go. We want to make sure that we're consistent with having those setup conditions um, tell us every time what's what to do and when to get in. Um, and one of the most important things are these top two, the trend and support and resistance. And we've, we talk a lot about this, but it's important to be able to, to recognize that. And, you know, we've, uh, we've talked about this slide in the past. I want to bring it up again here where we have, you know, green candles or up candles, meaning that the, their price is moving higher. Red candles or uh, down candles where the price is going lower or it opened and then it closed lower. Um, what we like to see is a deliberate movement in the markets and the instruments that we're trading. And so we get these swing highs and swing lows. And typically we have a couple of uh, lower highs on each side of the swing high and um, higher lows on each side of the swing low to form this nice deliberate pattern. Um, where we have to be careful is when the market becomes less deliberate 
and we get these big swings both to the upside and to the downside. Um, once we understand uh, the trend or the concept behind the trend, then we can determine whether it's um, you know deliberate enough, and we can determine whether the where the support and the resistance is located. So here is trending resistance and support. Well, we've got a nice line of support and resistance, and we're able to trade that now. The simple trading method would be to say that this currently is in an uptrend and it's sitting at support and we'd look for an entry in above the highest high of the last three. Sometimes the market is sideways. We can still identify support and resistance, but we lack the trend here to really say that that is what we want to see. Um, entry points, obviously, as we begin to move above the highest high of the last three in an uptrend, that's uh, what we want to, uh, to be looking for. Uh, where we have to be careful is this choppy, non-deliberate movements where the highs are not necessarily getting higher every time and the lows are not necessarily getting higher, but uh, you may find that they get this inconsistent movement um, with how it's moving. Uh, so take some time to review your trend and your support and resistance as you look at those on the charts. And then make sure that you've got those rules down so that you can trade it appropriately. Um, and then um, be consistent with how you identify those. So if you have questions about this, uh, let me know. If not, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll be back on Monday to uh, check on things, and uh, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.